It's the Scottish play, y'all. How does Macbeth, Thane of Glams, have it all, lose it all, fall right through his arms? Thane of Cawdor and then Scotland's king, this Thane has been almost everything. First a loyal soldier helping win the war, that saw the end of the last Thane of Cawdor. See you later, you traitor, says King Duncan, grants Macbeth the title after hearing from the captain. But thank one Macbeth on the turn from the war Was stopped by some really weird sisters they saw They say hail, hail. All hail Macbeth, Thane of Glam. They know who I am All hail Hail, hail Macbeth, Thane of Cordo No, I'm not the Thane of Cordo And hail. hail All hail Macbeth that shall be king hereafter I shall be king hereafter? They also say a cryptic prophecy About Banquo's old children See, think nothing on it though, says he what will be, will be. Case her up. Then Ross comes along and tells Macbeth the news. How he'll be filling Cordor's old shoes. So he writes to his wife about how the sisters were right. And she's already plotting the king's death in the night. She conjures up some spirits to cast out her womanly kindness. But pretends that all was well. Prepares her castle for his highness. But Duncan's here and double trust. Macbeth my spoil is killed. Because before the act is even done, they both feel the guilt. Guilt, 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 yeah. Because Duncan is a nice man. Promoted him twice, man. How's he gonna ice the man? Don't take your wife's advice, man. He kills the king, gets away with it too. The princes run though, this is something they did not do. Leaving Macbeth to take over the throne. Before the next scene, they have him crowned at scone. But Macbeth hasn't quite covered his tracks so neatly. See, remember, Banquo also heard the prophecy completely. He has his suspicions that Macbeth did the deed, so Macbeth has him killed by some assassins. But luckily his son, Cleops, got away. And who knows, maybe he will be the king someday. But for now, Macbeth is having a dinner hand on his hilt. He sees the ghost of Banquo. Why? Because he feels guilt. Guilt, 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 yeah. His wife tells him to get it together, thank you. So he goes to find the witches to ask for a clue. And they're pretty vague, but what can you do? Well, none of that will ever happen. Phew! But he kills Macduff's family, just to be sure. But the rest of Scotland just won't take this anymore. As the unrest grows, rebellion begins to be built. And now Lady Macbeth is feeling the guilt. Guilt, 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 yeah. She sleepwalks, in trance talks about spots on her hands. Wherefore was that cry the queen? She did die. What's that coming across the land? It's Burnham Wood. Yeah, yeah. Duff was born via C-section, so Macbeth was being cocky, but hey, he didn't know. He was finally defeated by Macduff on his own, and Prince Malcolm can finally be crowned rifle king at Scone. 